Good morning. How are you this morning? So today I am going to talk about a window of opportunity uh, and it's called the perimenopause power window, which I fucking love. <laughs> What a really awesome name, isn't it? Because everything normally to do with perimenopause is so doom and gloom. And this is, no, it's a power window, which I absolutely love. Viewing perimenopause in this way can be really helpful and will have some really potent physiological and psychological effects. I'm going to talk about this study, OVS, <laughs> which was a study of 72 women in three groups pre-menopausal, perimenopausal, post-menopausal. They looked at fat mass, lean mass, bone density, and total water in the body. They found, bear with me because this is a bit doom and gloom, but it gets better, I promise. They found that the greatest body composition and metabolic changes happen during the perimenopause. Unfortunately, it means that people in perimenopause tend to have a higher body fat percentage, they have lower muscle mass and they have higher abdominal fat, which suggests that this fluctuation of estrogen, progesterone and testosterone causes a change in the distribution of fat. That all sounds a bit doom and gloom, doesn't it, really? But what they also found is that if you implement lifestyle changes that help you maintain your muscle mass, increase your bone density and lose fat you can actually future proof your body against some of these physiological consequences of going through the menopause, which I think is great, right? It's so significant that they've dubbed it this perimenopause power window, which, as I said, I love because normally everything about the perimenopause is so disempowering. You can't do anything about it. Your life is over. Your hormones are in decline. You can't get fitter. You can't get healthier, which is all bollocks right it's absolute bollocks but they were saying that if you implement these lifestyle changes you can future proof yourself against a lot of these consequences also interestingly the health that you enter perimenopause in will determine your health for the rest of your life maybe that's scary to you but also this is why it's such a brilliant window of opportunity because now is the time to make these lifestyle changes and you can still have a really positive impact on your health for the rest of your life. These lifestyle changes. So the first one is resistance training. Resistance tra training will help you hold on to the muscle mass that you have. And it is possible to build more muscle in this stage of your life as well. If you eat plenty of protein and do some resistance training, you can stop that age-related sarcopenia and you can actually build more muscle mass in that period of your life. I've managed to do that, so I know that it's true. And I've got clients who've managed to do it as well. Resistance training doesn't mean you have to go balls out and start CrossFit six times a week or whatever, any sort of resistance training. And you can start off light safety is the primary aspect here and getting a PT or going along to a CrossFit class or something like that, where you can actually be shown how to lift weights safely. That's really important. Diet, eating plenty of protein, that's really going to help. Then the other thing is doing some high intensity cardio, working out between 80 and 90% of your maximum heart rate. And that's because during this stage of our life, we need extra stimulus to provoke a response that allows us to adapt and become more resilient. So doing some cardio, some interval training, maybe this is why I do CrossFit, because I don't have to think about all of this shit about have I done resistance training? Have I done enough cardio? And I just turn up to CrossFit and it's just designed so that happens throughout the course of the week. It's a real window of opportunity. And I think it also really helps mindset wise to look at it like that, because we are bombarded with all of this shitty marketing about perimenopause and it being doom and gloom. What I also want to throw into the mix there is the psychological symptoms that you might have while you're going through this period of your life. For me, this is why I started on this whole journey of doing my ultra events and then eventually deciding that this is the demographic of people that I want to work with, because there are a lot of symptoms that come with it in terms of 
anxiety, low mood, feeling just quite jittery and just not feeling yourself. If this is the middle of your life, reviewing what's happened to you in the first half of your life and then deciding what do you want the rest of your life to look like? Again, this can be a window of opportunity psychologically because you could make some big decisions about what direction your life's in. Maybe your kids are now grown up, so you've got more time and you could take on a new hobby or start a business. We are at a period of our lives where we give less of a shit. If you take these psychological and physiological factors and put them together, you have got this window of opportunity. And that is why I started my new Facebook group. So I'm going to be honest, I had a bit of trepidation about nailing my colours to the mast and saying, I'm only working with this group of people, women over 40, who are starting to think about perimenopause and their health, or they're going through it, or they're postmenopausal. I felt a bit nervous about saying this is definitely what I'm doing but I've got this new Facebook group and it's just awesome in there everyone is engaging everyone's helping each other it's not just me posting it's people are doing their own posts they're asking questions they're answering questions for other people they're offering help and support any doubts I had about this change in direction this week they've just disappeared because I love the group already. Honestly, I really love it. It's just so cool. The reason I've set it up is I'm going to offer some lifestyle advice so that we can hit those physiological consequences. I can offer some advice about diet and how to explore ways that you could start some strength training and all of that kind of stuff. I'm bringing in the element of looking at the psychological effects of it. Because one of the things that I found helped me and I think is super, super important as you, we go into this stage of life is still getting outside of your comfort zone. If you've got any of these mental health symptoms and you know, you're not feeling yourself, you don't know who you are anymore, you don't know what you like doing, maybe you feel a bit anxious, that kind of thing, getting some help and support to get outside of your comfort zone can be really empowering and it can really help mitigate those symptoms. The group is to help with lifestyle stuff, but also we're going to be organizing some events. We're going to be going on some hikes. We are going to be encouraging each other to say, fuck it, I'm in, let's do it, whatever it is, because that element of your life can disappear when you get to this stage. I'm really excited about the future of the group because, like I said, it's really engaged already and we haven't even started organising the events or really getting stuck in. So if you are a woman over 40 and you want to take advantage of your perimenopause power window, <laughs> come on over to the group and we will help you do that. Uh, I will pop a link to the group in the comments. If you've got any questions about anything that I've talked about today, drop it in the comments and I will come back around and answer it. If you're interested in being in the Facebook group, please just click the link that I'm going to pop in here and join us.